Hey friends, so as a lot of you probably know, my husband and I are looking to purchase a house, so we've been doing some house showings, and I decided to start recording them and putting them in my YouTube videos because I always love watching those videos. I think doing house tours, showings, whatever, is so, so fun. So I'm gonna include one that we went to recently into this video, and then I'll be doing more of those um, in the upcoming weeks as well because we have some more we're gonna be going to. So if you like those type of videos, be sure to like this video and subscribe. But yeah, I'll insert that, and then after that, I also am gonna do a little Q&A to finish off the video. I started editing my YouTube video and I realized I never clarified that we are potentially looking for a fixer-upper home um, so we can get a cheaper home now and then when we sell it we can earn um, more profit but that is not like for sure what we're gonna do but that is why that house didn't look like the best and why some of the houses I show in the future might not look like the greatest but I thought I should clarify that okay so now for a little Q&A I asked you guys to ask me some questions on my Instagram story um, if you're not already following me on Instagram, make sure to do that if you want to participate in asking questions when I ask you guys um, for Q&A questions. But so the first question I'm going to answer is, do you want kids? Yes, absolutely. I have always known since I was little that I would really love to be a mom. I used to be like, I want 10 kids. I want all the kids. Um, I want to like run my own daycare. I want to like, I've always loved nanny and like I love kids. <laughs> um, but yeah, me and my husband do want kids. Um, we don't really have an exact timeline if we have kids now we're happy if we have kids in five years we're happy whatever it is whatever god's plan is for us um, and however many we end up having um, we're super excited for that when the time comes someone asked how to get started with ugc and if you do not know ugc is user generated content so it's like you're an influencer and you create content um, you create these videos and instead of you posting it onto your platform, the brand posts it onto their platform. So if it's like a makeup brand that you're doing a collab with, you'll like do a makeup video, you'll send it to the brand and then it will be on the brand's page. And you usually get paid pretty well because the brand usually has a decent amount of followers already. They just need the content. Um, it's kind of like you're an actress, if that makes sense, or actor. But how to get started. So I started doing UGC, um, really I started in December. So I haven't been doing it long. I originally was just doing content creation like on my own platform. But then I heard of UGC and there's a lot more opportunities I feel like and it's really good money. So to get started basically I just reached out to some brands, 
asking if they wanted to collab through my account or I said like I could do UVC um, and some of them said yes to that. There are also lots of apps out there. Um, I'll kind of include some on the screen so you guys can have an idea. You'll also probably want to have a portfolio that you can send to the brands. It doesn't already have to be collabs you've had if you haven't had any yet, but just like video examples, examples of you in front of the camera, talking to the camera so the brand kind of knows how you are um, with making videos. And just put yourself out there. Maybe create a separate account, um, Instagram, TikTok, whatever, and post examples of UGC content and then like, um, tag brands that you're using, um, do hashtags like UGC creator, UGC creator based in the United States, etc. So brands are more likely to find your um, account. And then someone asked a similar question, the best way to find paid partnerships starting UGC, building your small um, creator brand. So similarly, um, just post, reach out to brands. I feel like that's the main tips I have. I do have a lot more like in-depth videos over my TikTok, um, but I think that's all I'm going to say about that for right now. And then someone said it would be so cool to hear your testimony. So I like was thinking, I was like, I grew up Christian. Like my parents took me to church growing up. I've been going since I was very little. Um, and I can't really remember an exact moment that I like accepted Jesus into my life. You know, I was baptized when I was a baby um, and I just kind of grew up in the church. But honestly, I don't feel like I really became like a true Christian or like really cared that much. Like, you know, I was the type like, go to church, blah, blah, blah. Um, but I didn't really like understand and know um, the Lord, if that makes sense, until maybe like a year or two ago, honestly. I feel like now, like since like actually like really, really believing and really, really understanding, um, like since then, like I, it's just like life feels different, if that makes sense. Like life has just felt different um, since then. Like I really, truly like, I've been sharing his word more um, through content, which I love doing. And then also like just talking about it more, um, reading more Bible verses. It is really hard for me still to like sit down and read the Bible. Um, I'm trying to get better at that though. But just like including him in part of my everyday life. Like I was the type who used to like pray every night before bed growing up. Um, but that was the only time I really spent with Jesus during the day. But now it's like I just have conversations with him like daily or like if something really good happens um immediately i think jesus immediately like i talk to him and i um like just in my head or whatever and it's just like kind of crazy like how like i used to always be like yeah i'm a christian but like within the last year or two it's been more of like yeah like he really is like the main focus in my life and like i really actually like i said i really now understand and know him um and i've just been spending more time with him and including him in my everyday life um, I don't really know exactly why that happened or when it happened, but it's been great. Like, I can't even, like, explain it. Like, I used to have so much, like, anxiety and sadness. And then after, like, including him more into my life, it was, it's more of, like, if something bad happens, like, I literally just, like, talk to Jesus and I literally, like, will feel better. And he just brings calmness. Um, and like I put my like worries on to him like if I'm like like I used to just like worry and worry and worry about stuff like if when we we're waiting to hear if Isaiah got the job like normally I'd probably like be like freaking out but like this time around I was like it's up to the Lord like if Isaiah's not meant to have this job we're not gonna go there like yeah we want to we want to move um, closer to family and we we're really hoping he get this job but I'm like if that's not where we're meant to where we're meant to be and that's not where the Lord has his plan to be like that's okay and I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm just rambling now. But unfortunately, I don't really like have like a time or anything that I was like, yeah, this is when I really like accepted Jesus into my life. Like I said, I've always been a Christian, but within the last year or two, it's really been more like he's like actually like lives in my heart and he is very present. Um, and I have been, I feel like it almost has been like helpful since I've been doing content and like sharing him through my content. I feel like it's helped me grow closer to him if that makes sense but yeah that is all the questions i'm gonna do for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed and don't forget to like and subscribe